guys, welcome back to Revenge of the Sea Team with me, cat on head, <laughs> and we are at spawn today, <coughs> excuse me, because there's a couple of things that I've been looking to do. So at the moment we're kind of really getting into dinosaurs, so um, I went to look for some things to, some of the fossil things to bite up. Sorry, I'm still not very well, so uh, I could sneeze at any moment. Um, I can hear you, zombie. Well, let's go check on the uh, the shop while we're here. So, yeah, spawns changed a little bit. <laughs> it's going to look incredible. The um, Lady Illyrio and Hungry have been building this wall, which is kind of I think it's based on Lady's design, but it looks amazing. I probably showed you this already, but yeah. And there's her shop. It all looks so so good. And my rubbish shop that still looks finished. <laughs> Do I really need to do? Um, but while I was mining stuff, I had a lot of iron that I needed to mine, and I realised that um, I could use some of the things that Coco has taught me on Baycraft um, to maybe make some power and make some lava. So I want to make a lava fabricator. So to do that, we needed rubber. So I came here to see if anybody had a rubber tree, and um, I actually... Where's it gone? Oh, here it is. I actually just found some rubber in this chest which is like a free-for-all chest so I'm gonna take that um, let's see oh there are some rubber saplings that's what I wanted really awesome so we've got some rubber saplings now so that should be fine now the other thing is there's this now it says enter our own risk so if we follow this round I did see hungry do this on her stream um, it was made by Lestat and Close the gate for your safety. It looked terrifying. So I think he built this for Hungry. It is absolutely huge. I'll show you around the back. So we live there. And this is like all the way across there. It is huge. And there's so much lava and stuff. It's insane. Um, but yes. So I thought we'd give it a go today. So this might be just a short episode. But um, oh, let's take the sword. Um, I didn't clear anything out as you can see so we'll take those and um, obviously I know I've got this bag of stuff and whatever but we should be okay oh let's take some potatoes because we're hungry and let's see how far we can get okay oh goodness there's lava above <laughs> that that's scary let's go this way Oh! So we need to be fast. Okay. Go, go, go! <gasps> oh, we can't, we can't get that up. <sighs> so we don't go that way? Is that going to drop lava on us? No? This is scary with this dropping above our heads. Okay, so that doesn't do anything. That's where we came from. Oh! Right, I think we have to be quick here too. Oh, we're through. Okay. It's good. doesn't seem to have done anything. Okay. So there's nothing this way. So let's go back the other way. Uh, this way? No. This button doesn't do anything. It's not this way. This way. Oh my goodness. Which which way did we come? Oh
Something moved when I hit this one. Like this, here. Ow! Yes! Figured it out! Okay. Uh oh. The exit! <laughs> Going that way. What about this way? Oh! <gasps> We're out! Oh no, no, there's a creeper! Oh no! What does that say? Oh, I don't want to! Don't want to blow anything up! Oh no! But we did it! Ow! Ow! And there's a creeper! Ow! Ow! Thanks for getting me out the way of the creeper. <laughs> we were in there that long it went dark I don't think we were so let's go back into the tree and sleep that was a really cool maze um, I'm terrible at redstone so I wouldn't have been able to do the pressure plate stuff with things popping out of everywhere <laughs> it was scary <laughs> it was really good though so well done to the stat for doing that sleep and then we can go and pick up our stuff and we will head on back home Doesn't look like there's anything around here waiting for us. All of this. And then just because I know there's some stuff, let's just teleport home. Woohoo! <coughs> yeah, so we need to smelt this rubber. Where's it gone again? We need to turn it into rubber bars. So we're going to make a lava fabricator, which basically makes lava. So we need plastic sheets, which is what I needed the rubber for. We do need a blaze rod, um, obsidian, magma cream. So we are going to have to go to the nether because we can use blaze powder and slime ball to get this. Or we can kill one of the magma cubes. So we get a chance doing that as well. And we need to make this, which is just... Uh, stone and plastic sheets which actually gives us three factory machine blocks so that's really good <clears throat> so we need this and then I think I think we smelt it again to make it into the plastic like dust stuff and then we put those together to make um, make the plastic basically so I could have I should have automated this really shouldn't I <laughs> Okay, so let's go and plant uh, these rubber trees somewhere. I also should have brought some food for the dinosaur. So he probably wants feeding. So we'll go ahead and put these down here. Now since last episode I haven't really been on because I've been a bit busy. Um, so he hasn't really grown. Oh, I've moved the bushes. Hello! Hello, baby. Um, I've moved the bushes because I want to do more with the tree. Now, if you remember when we first started this series, I said that I wanted this to be like Pixie Hollow. And I love the garden. I really do love the garden. Um, but I just, I, I feel like the tree is too up and down. It's like too straight. I feel like the bottom, it should like really come out and be this really big tree. So, um... I got rid of the bushes so we could extend it here. I don't I don't want to go too big because I don't want to take out like most of the garden or anything or the surrounding areas. I might not even do it. Um, it was just an idea <clears throat> because I didn't realise how low that balcony was. So I might leave it and just build some further out balconies and stuff. And we really need to get to the top so that we can start doing some stuff up there. But we're not, we're not that far through. Um... We're not that far through the tree yet. So I think... Oh no, it's like... It's four of them, isn't it? Okay, and that gives us four. And luckily I have some stone. So that's our three blocks. So that's really good. Um, I really need... I need to get, like, a real sorting system going. Because this is just ridiculous. 
<laughs> there's like nowhere for anything. Um, there you go. So this can go in here so I know that it's safe. Cool. Uh, okay, that's just three. Oh, let's turn these into sheets. So we need those two. Cool. And then we need, oh yeah, obsidian and some other bits. Do we have any obsidian? We do. So we need at least two. So I'll pop two in here. <clears throat> and then we can continue with that. So let's go ahead and we've only got one fossil it seems. So we'll go and put that in the little dino thing. I really need to try and find some more endermen so I can... Uh... Did not want to analyse bones? Okay. Um, I really need to find some endermen. Oh, my stegosaurus is ready! <laughs> awesome. That's good. That's really good. Um, let's go and... Should we build him somewhere now? No, you know what? We'll do it next episode. So I hope you've really enjoyed this episode. I am going to leave it here. Um, I had lots of fun going around Lost Stats Maze. That was really fun. Um, go and check everybody out else out that's on the server. All their links will be in the description below. Um, in the next episode, I will have... By next episode, I will have built somewhere for the Stegosaurus to go. And then we can build Stegosaurus. And I want to build some like outside areas so that the dinosaurs can roam around. And not just stay inside, because I don't like them being in there. So, for the Stegosaurus, I might build him a bit of a bigger area. And maybe... I don't know if two dinosaurs can go in the same area. I'm not too sure, but I will see. But we'll find out next time. So I hope you've really enjoyed this episode. If you have, please sprinkle some sparkles on the like button. And subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you're having a great day. And I will see you all soon. Bye, guys!